Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix can sign in to Microsoft Teams app. So if you're getting this error where you're basically not capable of signing in to your Microsoft Teams app, then in this video I'm going to show you guys some easy ways in order to fix that. So yeah, fix number one is going to be really really easy, but what you need to make sure to do is that Wi-Fi is connected and that you have a pretty strong Wi-Fi connection. Because when you don't have Wi-Fi or of course cellular mode, then you will not be able to sign in to Microsoft. So make sure that you have a Wi-Fi connection or cellular mode is enabled and make sure that they are in range actually in order to make them properly work. Now, if you've made sure that Wi-Fi or cellular mode is enabled and it's still not working, then the second thing you wanna do is head over into settings just like this. Once you've done that, scroll all the way down till you find Microsoft Teams and it will most likely be at the bottom because it's called Teams right here. So let me quickly find it, Teams. And what you need to make sure to do is that clear add data is disabled. You don't want this enabled, just disable it. It will basically clear local data every time you open it, which could cause some issues. So make sure that's disabled. Now, if you've already done that as well, it's already disabled and it's still not working, then the third thing I would recommend doing is heading over into the App Store, just like this, and then just typing in Teams, because we are going to update the app. If the app is really outdated, or there are some straight up bugs going on currently with the Microsoft Teams app, the developers will automatically update that using an update over on the App Store or Google Play Store. Make, so make sure basically that you have updated it to the latest version. Now, if you've already done that as well, or there's no new update available, then basically the fourth thing I would recommend doing is heading over into settings again, like this, but then going into general and then into iPhone storage. And what we're going to do is we are going to clear the cache of our uh, Teams app. So just scroll down till you find the Teams app. It should be somewhere right here. Let me quickly find it. Maybe I've already scrolled past it. I don't really know. So let me quickly find it. All right, so it found it, it's all the way at the bottom right here. So what you're simply going to do is you're going to click on the app just like this. And once you've done that, what you can do is simply click on offload app. What offloading app does, it will let you just reinstall the entire Teams app. However, it will harsh reset the app as well. And the best part is it will keep all of the documents and data within your device, meaning nothing is lost. So it is a really easy way in order to clear the cache of your Teams app basically. Now, if that also did not fix the issue for you, then there might be a problem with Teams itself. In order to check this, what you can simply do is type in Microsoft Teams. So just type in Microsoft Teams just like this. Let me quickly type it in, Microsoft Teams. And what you then need to do is to type in Microsoft Teams down. So it's really important that you type down after it because we are going to check if maybe the Microsoft Teams servers are just straight up down, meaning you will not be able to log in because of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to see if there's a massive uh, a spike of basically reports. We can literally see right here that 24 hours ago, we saw a massive spike of reports, meaning there's maybe a chance that maybe then for some users, Microsoft was not working. So if you're seeing massive spikes, then just know that it may be a, a server that is maybe offline uh, or just being updated or something like that. And then you can just try it again in a few hours and it should work again. Now, if that also did not fix the issue for you, it's not down at all, no spikes detected, and the uh, sixth thing I would recommend doing is force restarting your phone. On an iPhone, you can do this by pressing the volume up button really quickly, then volume down really quickly, and then holding the power button. And we're going to do a force restart. So keep the power button basically pressed till the entire screen goes dark, but keep on holding till you see that Apple logo appear again. And the second you see that Apple logo appear again, you can release the power button, and then it should automatically restart. And you've basically forced restart your entire iPhone. And sometimes this fixes a lot of issues you are having with the Teams app and basically with all of the apps on your phone. Now, if that also did not fix the issue for you, then the last thing I would basically recommend doing is simply reinstalling the Teams app. You can do this by holding down the app over on your home screen, clicking on remove app, and then trying to reinstall it again. This is really, really easy. And this should basically fix 99% of any issue you are having with the app including maybe not being able to sign in. So I'll definitely check it out. And that's basically all the fixes I have for you guys. So if I helped you with this video, if some of this fixes fix it for you, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.